localization of things is the process of locating any person, object, vehicle in a certain environment. This is becoming more and more important nowadays. Um, in particular, in the wireless communication and localization method laboratory at the engineering department in the University of Ferrara, we have one line of research dedicated to localization of things. Such research is performed inside uh, national and international uh, research projects and uh, in collaboration with important research institutions in Europe and outside Europe. In particular, I would like to mention the long-standing collaboration with the WINS Lab at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The research that we perform within the localization of things uh, is based on three pillars. The first pillar is a theoretical foundation. So we want to know what are the fundamental limits for given type of signals, given type of technology in a certain environment. Uh, and this is very important not only to have a benchmark from which you know the gap to be filled, but also for having a blueprint from which we can uh, understand uh, the main importance of the system parameters and design better algorithms. The second pillar is the development of uh, new algorithms. In particular, we are targeting machine learning based algorithm. Uh, we have one approach which is called soft information based localization, where our algorithms are able to learn the characteristics of the environment, for example, line of sight or no line of sight conditions, for example, how many people or objects are in the environment, and then are capable of tracking them with very high accuracy. And once we develop our algorithm, we like to develop them uh, in a technology agnostic way so that they can work with any type of technology. And we like also to test them. So we have the third pillar, which is network experimentation. We go in a certain environment, in particular in our environment, and we like to test our algorithm with technology off the shelf. And we also like to use different types of technologies so that we can fuse all the data, all the information that are available in the environment to perform a better localization of the objects or the things that are in our environment. And based on that, we uh, perform activities that are devoted to active localization as well as passive localization. Active localization is when our people or objects are equipped with tags that talk to the network, exchange messages, exchange observations, and so they want to be localized and they are localized through these exchange of measurements. Passive localization is when we want to track or count people that are not equipped with any devices. This is based on radar technologies and so we also perform and localization using these radar that are based on the reflection of electromagnetic wave from the person or the object. In the field of 5G and beyond 5G localization, we develop a platform that is capable of showing the performance of different localization techniques in any kind of environment in full conformity with the standard. And this is very relevant for different types of application and in particular allow us to show how the algorithm developed in our lab can uh, uh, perform with respect to the algorithm that are present in the technical report of the standardization bodies. And uh, we see that our machine learning based algorithm performs better than uh, previously developed algorithm by different companies. And this is something very important. It's something very important because it was well not only in indoor open office scenario, but also in factory. And uh, we can think of uh, applying that to dedicated 5G network that will be infrastructure into the Industry 4.0 factory of the footer. Another research activity in the field of active localization is using ultra-wideband sensors. And so in the indoor environment, like uh, for example inside our department, we develop some uh, uh, network of ultra-wideband nodes from which we can track people that are walking in the environment uh, in real time with uh, several instances per second uh, and uh, with uh, submitter precision. Another activity uh, on the localization of things is related to the passive localization, so the possibility to track people uh, using uh, radar sensor networks. And uh, we are using uh, both ultra-wideband sensor radar 
as well as uh, a millimeter wave radar. Uh, in particular, we have one uh, uh, MIMO radar with multiple antennas operating uh, at very high frequency, 77 gigahertz, from which uh, we can first uh, determine the distance of a person that is moving and its velocity. So if it's moving toward the radar or, or the path from the radar, as well as uh, we can track multiple targets. In the video, you can see that there are three people that are moving in an indoor environment and we are able to track them with the high uh, performance. The algorithms that we develop are based on machine learning techniques that learn the environment, for example, the presence of clutter in the environment or the line of sight and the line of sight condition that can affect significantly the performance of the localization algorithm and that are also able to fuse together different type of measurements. So we are in the field of heterogeneous uh, localization. Based on these uh, uh, machine learning based techniques that we call soft information based localization that we can apply to both active and passive localization, we are able to obtain performance uh, that are unprecedented in a, a very challenging uh, indoor environment. We believe that this can have an important uh, uh, applications both in the field of Internet of Things applied to Industry 4.0 as well as uh, for assisting the life of fragile and people inside home where uh, it is better to use uh, the reflection of electromagnetic waves rather than cameras uh, for privacy constraint as well as uh, for the agriculture of precision for uh, knowing very precisely the position of the people in a museum or in archaeological sites for augmented reality and for better tour visits. So there are several applications that can improve the quality of the life or the quality of the production in industry.